this week's review of Saw 4, starring Tobin Bell. You want to play a little game? <laughs> It's over. You think you're safe? You are wrong. I promise that my work will continue. Welcome to the show that will never end. Like most people, I thought Saw 3 would be a nice end of the franchise. When I first heard there'd be a fourth movie, I thought, here we go again, another Jason series. And the next big concern for me with the fourth movie was there was really no full trailer for the movie and it did take quite a while for even the teasers to be released. And this can be a very bad sign for a movie. Knowing how some of the horror films tend to release garbage sequels and have no regard for the product they put out, I was not sure a Saw 4 would be a cheap excuse for another quick buck or a decent attempt to tell more of the story. And after three movies of all sorts of creative ways to torture and kill people, it does begin to get a little old. Like when I first saw the video game Mortal Kombat. <laughs> First, it was pretty wild watching all the fatalities, then after two or three sequels, they all began to look the same. Because there's only so many ways you can torture and kill people. Before I review the fourth film, I might as well let you know what I thought of the first three. I really did like the first one. Great cast, good story, nice twist, overall a good horror flick. I didn't like the second one much at all. I did like the beginning and the end, but the whole gang of people trapped in the maniac really annoyed me. Now the third one, I thought at the time, was a solid final film, and little did I know, this would not be the end. One of the biggest strengths of the Saw franchise was the fact that it did have a decent amount of characters that were familiar to us from the previous movies, to keep some sort of common thread from 1 through 3. So now that this has passed the trilogy mark, will the fourth movie be a cheap knockoff or a good reason to watch the fourth film in the series? I really hope I don't need to remind people that there's an extremely high gore factor in this series as well as in this movie. This is not for the squeamish and it's definitely not for little kids. I actually saw some mom with about a six-year-old kid in line at the theater at midnight. Listen, people, these kind of movies are not for little kids. So use some common sense and let them see it when they're older. I'm really beginning to wonder what it does take to get an NC-17 rating if neither the Hostel or Saw franchise has received it. Well, you do get to see all Jigsaw in this movie, and I do mean all. And you'll know what I mean when you see it. There's also a pretty realistic autopsy scene in this movie, and it's one of those times when you knew... At least half the theater realize they're getting a little more than they bargained for. Now I've seen a full autopsy and believe me, this is not a full autopsy. But they do show a lot and it's pretty accurate. The cast for this movie was pretty good. But after the first three movies, most of the better characters have been killed off in one way or another. And the first time I saw Tobin Bell in the movies was in The Firm and in The Line of Fire. Now he's not the leading man type, but he does have a good screen presence and he is a solid actor. And one thing that was kind of cool was how they used some unique transitions from one scene to another. And what this movie did pretty well was going to the backstory of Jigsaw and how it all began. And this was a nice, needed touch, and it kept this from being a meaningless or worthless sequel. I like this series for the fact that it does put some thought into the quote lessons or puzzles that are given, and what they were supposed to do or not supposed to do to get out alive. And this movie can be pretty confusing for some of those that watch it, but I did like the fact that for the most part, it does keep you guessing how it was going to play out. Now I really like the timeline this movie took place, that was pretty cool. And I do think this movie did do a good job of trying to create a pretty well thought out sequel. Now I won't give any spoilers away as far as the ending goes, but don't be surprised if you see a Saw 34, by the way this one ended. And I don't know how many of them they plan on making, but it really looked like after this one, there will be no end of this franchise as long as it's profitable. And I like the third Saw because I thought it was brave enough to put an end to the franchise and do it with some dignity. But I got the exact opposite feeling after seeing this one. I thought this one was left so open that I'd be almost shocked if this franchise doesn't hit Saw 10. Overall, I felt like this movie was a decent sequel and that it was in line with the first three. So again, if you can stomach it and did enjoy the earlier films, then you should feel like you got your money's worth. But if you have a weak stomach at all, I don't think this movie's for you. And leave the kids at home, people. I'm not for censorship, but to bring a small child to see a movie like this is ridiculous. From overall rating, 
I give Saw 4 three and a half stars. You'll shoot your eye out, kid. Post your comments below on what you thought of this movie. If you'd like to rate and review a movie, you can do so at www.yourmovieratings.com. At this site, you can upload a video review or even a text review of any movie ever made. If you subscribe to my channel, you'll be notified immediately when my latest movie review is uploaded. Also, if you'd like to see some of the latest info regarding my channel, then check out my website at mrblacksreviews.com. And if you made a cool video or you want to share your YouTube channel with other members, then post them in the YouTube section. These forums are dedicated to everything from new movie releases to your very own YouTube channel. And don't forget, I'll be giving away DVDs at the forums, including the following titles. Transformers, Harry Potter, The Simpsons, Hot Fuzz, and four DVDs of the movie 300. So join the forums for a chance to win any one of these DVDs. And finally, if you want to see my list of upcoming movie reviews, then just go to my forums and click on the calendar. This has all the movies that I'll be reviewing in the future. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you again next week.